Sara. For today's vlog, we will feature Barangay Maabay. With an elevation estimated at 111.8 meters or 366 feet above mean sea level, Barangay Maabai is located at the municipality of Sibunag, province of Guimaras, taking only 2 kilometers and 10-minute motorcycle ride from the municipal hall. Fast evolving, populous and diversified, this inland civilized community oozes with vast potentials, dynamism, progress and holistic development. Barangay Ma Abai, a place where you reside and find anything your heart desires. It was named after a legend narrated by old folks, which is about a giant named Mangao who was turned into stone after chasing an animal or Peng Abai Abai. It has three child development centers located at Sitios Tambubuan, Liningwan, and Maabai proper. It has two elementary schools, Liningwan Central School and Paralang Buheang Maabai, and a public secondary school, Desiderio C. Gant National High School. Churches found here are those of the Roman Catholic Church Our Lady of Lourdes Parish. Iglesia Ni Cristo Baptist Fundamental Church
Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. Due to its mostly hilly topography, half of its land area is agricultural in nature. Thus, farming is its main source of income. But with its economy booming, it now has a total of 100 to business establishments and still increasing. To name a few, M. Lulier, Hollow and Pawn Shop, CL Gasoline Station, Auto and Motorcycle Parts Shops, Pharmacy and Clinic, Salon, Travel and Tours Booking Office, Hardware Stores, Cafeterias, Microfinance and credit institutions such as ASA Philippines Foundation, Inc., Yugyon Foundation, Inc., and others can also be found here. Its main power supply comes from Gimara's electric cooperative Gimelco. In its boundary with Barangay Sabast lies the cell site of Smart Telecommunications Company. It has existing farm-to-market roads and a bridge located at Sitio Camulong connecting Ma'abai proper. Most of the roads are fully paved, some are partially paved, and a few remaining rough roads. We also have an indigenous people's community here, the Adi tribe of Sitio Liningwan. This tribe's products include cashew nuts, candied cashew nuts bandy, and coin purses, wallets, bags made from indigenous materials such as nido, buri, and pandan. In 2016, through the support of Kalahi SIDS and DSWD, the Kamyalong overflow was constructed. In 2021, a paved Liningwan to Kamyalong Road has been constructed. Community development projects also include fencing of Liningwan Barangay Plaza and multi-purpose pavement at Sitio Liningwan Plaza, as well as the solar lamps situated at strategic places. Presently being headed by Barangay Captain Enriqueto G. Chavez, with the help and support of his council members, Honorable Gonzaga, Honorable Gajedo, Honorable Labuna, Honorable Tabiano, Honorable Debra, Honorable Aguirre Jr., and Honorable Bersaman and SK Chairman Honorable Familiarin. It has received numerous awards. It has been a child-friendly barangay awardee, and with a certification of being a drug-cleared barangay, it receives, yearly, an award for passing the Gimara's Good Governance Seal for Barangay 3 GSB Assessment and Validation. This barangay's mission to provide services especially on development projects to promote health, education, livelihood, infrastructure, security, and other basic services to the community. And when coupled with everyone's active participation, would surely result to a continuous community development being achieved.